things, Dave. So, John, some some news real quick here. Uh, I see Solid Fire did a raise, another twenty five million, uh, bringing the total up to thirty seven million. And, and interestingly, uh, a few angels that they had involved in it. Frank Slootman, who was the, f- the former CEO of Data Domain, and his VP of Worldwide Sales, David Schneider, and then Greg Papadopoulos, who is the CTO at Sun, all put dough in. And then NEA and Valhalla. Yeah, I'm really disappointed by those guys not asking me if I, I want to kick in I mean, some cash is, on that deal. I mean, Solid State. Is on fire, solid fire, you know, <laughs> pun intended. Solid fire, great company. Um, obviously, the founder. Well, it's clearly, an up round. You were saying off camera, right? Yeah, we had a briefing with them. There's an up round, although it was no out, new outside investors institutionally. It's NEA and and uh, Charles Curran over at Valhalla, two great firms, really hot in the storage area. Up round and valuation. Obviously, the demand for solid state is putting these guys uh, in a great position. The service provider business on the web based companies, uh, solid fires are just selling directly into that environment. And that's a key point. I mean, there's a lot of action right now going on in the in the the, the solid state space. Obviously, we've been tracking Fusion IO and the IPO for a long time. Um, and, and but what's different about SolidFire is they're exclusively targeting the cloud service provider, and the cloud service provider has a, a different requirements. And the SolidFire strategy is to bring uh, to that cloud service provider the ability to pin quality of service by application. That means they can start charging for it. That's different. I'm a big believer in the cloud service provider business model, and I was a little bit skeptical at first, but as I start to look at it, and from my view is when you hear about these types of announcements from HP, it ties directly into the solid fire value proposition, which is you're going to see a new breed of provider who can put it all together. You're seeing a couple trends. Obviously, software as a service, we all know about. Platform as a service has been hot. We saw Cloud Foundry and those guys doing some stuff. Infrastructure as a service, which is essentially converged networking. When you add, like, the HP story of converged networking, it simplifies the programmer's life. You add open source on top of that, you're going to see some really creative entrepreneurs cobble together some really high commercial-grade applications that are going to be cloud-specific. What the use cases are will be determined by the entrepreneurs, in my opinion, and the marketplace. So it's still open book in my mind, so we'll see. I mean, I, you know, well, I'm, but, but I'm bullish on it. Well, you I see. think what, what this announcement says is it's, it's, it's basically solidified saying, look, we're going to put all of our $37 million into that cloud service space. So, so, so for those of you thinking about getting into this space, you know, you might want to rethink it. Now, of course, guys like EMC with Project Lightning are going to get into that space. But uh, uh, some of the smaller guys, you know, may, maybe that's a message to them to rethink it. Uh, again, the big guys, well, Solid EMC, Fire is in a perfect position, Dave. I mean, here, you know, like you and I were talking about off camera, they're in a perfect position on the racetrack because either way, they can go it alone, go public and, and dominate the market and build an ecosystem around them and their partnerships, or they can get bought out at a very, very high number. So I don't think that they're selling. I mean, my take on the company is it's not built for a flip. It's built to build a viable business. Uh, the founder is uh, from Rackspace. He knows that business cold. But what's going to be interesting is the ecosystem that develops around the cloud service. I think there's going to be some consolidation, and you're going to see a lot of people become service providers within that space. So it's going to be some interesting consolidation, but either way, it's a growing market. Yeah, well, Dave Wright is, came from Rackspace. That's his, that's his deal. He's a smart guy, uh, Colorado-based company, one that we're following, a, a, along with others. Pure Storage, um, uh, Nimbus is another one that we're tracking. I mentioned Fusion IO. So it's, a, it's the hot space. It really is.